All right, well, let's move on <laughs> to uh, an article at Tom'sHardware.com. Windows 11 desktop watermark might come to unsupported PCs. And oh, so I, no. this, I know you had the watermark before if you had an unlicensed copy right. of Windows, but this is just basically saying your computer isn't, isn't powerful enough, loser. Yeah, and, and some additional news has come out since this article was written. You can remove the might. It's coming. Uh, hmm. We we announced last week, so Daniel and I, you, we talked about it, that the Rufus utility had been updated. That's right. Where it could make a Windows 11 install ISO or, or USB key or whatever that did not have the TPM requirement. So if your, your system didn't have the right CPU or a TPM and couldn't run Windows 11, you could actually make an install media that would ignore that. Microsoft has responded in a rather passive aggressive way in that if you do that, if you make an install and you don't have a TPM and you don't have a, whatever it is, eighth generation Intel or newer or whatever their, their CPU requirement is, that 9,000 gigs of RAM, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's right around that number. It will add a watermark at the bottom right hand of your screen telling you that you're running unsupported hardware. Now, most people can ignore a watermark like that just fine. But if you're somebody who gets annoyed by a message floating on top of your desktop like that, uh, then you need to buy a new computer. Or if you're someone that, you know, you do a lot of presentations and you don't want a watermark on your you screen don't. that says, this person is poor. Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically what's happening. So riddle me this, <laughs> Batman. A, it's not necessarily poor because there are some really nice laptops mm -hmm. that this will not run on. That's true. Right? And then B... Don, how often do you actually see your desktop? That is true. You know, if you've got Windows full screen, you don't... You're running the browsers and... Have you ever closed Chrome? Oh, right. Got to be yeah. honest, right? I do not know why this is a thing. Like, are there people just sitting there going, I, I, I got to get the, the watermark. Yeah, it's back there. Oh, my God. You know, they're scratching their neck and they're it's, having hive breakouts. It's and, the people that freak right. out if they've got, like, a, a notification on their phone next to the messages. Like, I, I got to read to that. To me, it's a badge of honor. I'm like, ah, I told it. Like, I yeah. give it the well, big middle finger. And I think as a consumer, you can do that, and it's fine, yeah. right? But imagine, imagine you work at a company that has 10,000 employees. Yeah, give it to me. And an and, and end user, an accountant... Uh, yeah. somebody in the, the marketing department or whatever, they've got a laptop and there's this watermark that's on there. Yeah. They're going to open up a support ticket. So Again. you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use group policy and everybody gets the same background. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> but won't they, they wouldn't overwrite it. So? <laughs> well, you can't see it. It's or you're saying the color of the text, whatever yeah. the text yeah. is. Yeah. Boom. Microsoft. So there's going to be a drop shadow. <laughs> but I was about to say, I, I haven't seen this one. I haven't tried it to, to trigger it, but on the activation one, there is a drop shadow. Then so I will use like a snow pattern. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be real just crazy. White noise. Yeah. I, you, you're talking to the person that's all my life is to just get around things. <laughs> you know, <laughs> somebody has to have already done that. Hey, yeah. We'll have to Google around. I bet yeah. somebody's made a way to cover the activation yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. If it looks like, look, looks like a QR code yeah. kind of background <laughs> where it's just all kind that's of black it. and white. That's it. And that's that way. We are also hiding the fact that we haven't activated. <laughs> yeah. so, so here's my question. I guess, is the term unsupported used wrong here? Because if you're running it, how is it unsupported hardware? I mean, it works. Unsupported means if you call Microsoft and ask for help, they're going to tell you to go beat sand. They're going to say, oh, it's on your end because you're not running a powerful enough system. Or... Right. And, and it's not so much about the power. It's about the security features, mm -hmm. that you're missing security features that they require for Windows 11. And so, like, if you were to get a virus or you were to get hacked or whatever, like, that, that's on you because you didn't run what they specified. Well, I'm thinking half the time people call those numbers and go, no. I'm having trouble accessing my bank website. Can you help me? And they go, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been on a support line before. That's that's what they do. I just bought this vacuum cleaner, and I'm like, I, <laughs> I'm not yeah. the – is there a number on the side of the box? Why would you call me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going back to the backgrounds, maybe come up with like a wallpaper that's all the different notifications they've done yeah. like that. And for, just like tiled across. Before, yeah. What you can do is you can make one of those like uh, art projects that like you use yeah. random things. Yeah, this version of Windows Vista is not yeah. uh, has not been legally be downloaded. Well, yeah. Again, just ways to get around stuff is my I, and plus I don't care. Well, the, the way to get around this one, the easy way, is just a just run it. Windows 10. It's still supported for like five more years. That is so <laughs> true. But there's like a an HKLM. You can go into the oh yeah into the hive and yeah. and dick around with it a little at, bit at least and, for now. Yeah, and change it, hmm. change a zero to a one or a one to a zero, and it's and gone. Magic happens. Yes. Boom. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.